Finally, the much-anticipated Saturday arrived with a fresh sunrise. I woke up filled with hope and took a refreshing bath, getting ready for this new and exciting experience. I informed my mother that I was going on a trip with my friends. Neha and I had planned to meet in our town and then head to the hotel. I left home and met Neha in town, and together, we made our way to the hotel. Upon reaching the hotel, we first organized all our belongings and ordered fresh fruit juice. We decided that my transformation would begin after lunch. After lunch, we began the process of transforming me. First, I went to the bathroom and removed my male clothes, replacing them with a pretty panty that Neha had provided. I returned to the room wearing the panty, and Neha helped me put on the bra, filling its cups with soft cloths as usual. Then she gave me the underskirt to wear, followed by the sari jacket. With the clothing in place, Neha started the makeup process by applying foundation. She took her time to ensure the makeup was done perfectly. The fragrance of the makeup products added to the feminine atmosphere. After nearly an hour, she completed the makeup by applying lipstick. I noticed that Neha was pleasantly surprised by my new look after the makeup. She told me that I looked like a cute girl with the makeup on. I was curious to see my transformed appearance, but Neha asked me to wait patiently until all the transformations were completed. Neha began the process of draping me in a sari by securing one corner of the sari to my underskirt. In just a few minutes, she had finished wrapping the sari around me. I was continuously enjoying the feminine feeling of wearing girls' clothing. Next, she placed the wig on my head and styled it to match our chosen look. She used some accessories to enhance the beauty of my hairstyle. Then, she gave me two-inch high heels to wear, and I fastened them securely. Finally, she completed my transformation by adorning me with jewelry and other accessories. Neha was pleasantly surprised and delighted by my feminine appearance. She thoroughly enjoyed seeing me in this new look. Neha guided me to a full-length mirror in the room, and I couldn't contain my excitement as I approached it. Seeing my reflection in the mirror, I could hardly believe the level of my feminine beauty. I looked just like a real girl, and it was an incredible feeling. I admired my beauty in the mirror, and the enjoyment was amplified by the sensations created by wearing the sari. The weight of the sari, its colors and design, the scent of the fabric, the makeup products, and the sound of the jewelry all contributed to making me feel even more feminine, transporting me to another world. I savored my beauty in silence for a while before breaking it to express my heartfelt thanks to Neha for creating this incredible opportunity for me. She was equally thrilled by my feminine appearance. Neha took some beautiful pictures of me, teaching me different poses along the way. We had a great time admiring the beauty captured in those images. We both relished my newfound beauty until it was time to head to the festival location. Neha had booked a car to take us there. Neha also took the time to teach me how to walk and sit gracefully while wearing a sari. In the evening, Neha received a call from the cab driver who informed her that he had arrived at the hotel entrance. Neha instructed me to come with her, reassuring me not to be shy or scared and to walk with a relaxed mind. I stepped out of the room with a mixture of excitement and nervousness. This was my first experience of dressing as a girl and my first time cross-dressing in public. Neha closed our hotel room door behind us, and we made our way to the hotel entrance. Without looking around much, I followed Neha closely. As we reached the hotel lobby, I noticed that there were five people in the area. However, I didn't dwell on it and continued toward the hotel entrance. Walking in a sari felt a bit challenging, but it also made me feel more feminine. I made a conscious effort to walk comfortably and with a feminine grace. The lessons Neha had given me really helped as I tried to move and carry myself like a girl. When we arrived at the hotel entrance, we saw our cab waiting. Before getting into the cab, Neha gave me an important instruction. Not to talk during the cab ride because my voice didn't match my appearance as a girl. I agreed with her and got into the cab. After a few minutes, we arrived at the festival location. Neha instructed the driver to park the cab and wait for us until we returned. As we approached the festival location, we encountered numerous boys dressed in beautiful girls' clothing and makeup. I noticed that as we got closer to the festival, 
the crowd began to grow. Many of the crossdressers looked stunning and seemed to be enjoying the festival with a relaxed mindset. Additionally, I realized that quite a few people were looking at me. After a few minutes, I started to feel more comfortable in my new appearance as a girl, gradually getting accustomed to the attention I was receiving. Neha guided me to participate in special activities at the temple, and we both thoroughly enjoyed the event. Personally, I found the experience to be quite enjoyable. We wandered around the festival location with a relaxed mindset, spending over two hours there. Eventually, we decided it was time to return to our hotel room. Back in the hotel room, I removed my sari and other attire with Neha's assistance. Afterward, I took a hot water bath, and Neha did the same. We both started chatting about our experiences that day. In the end, we decided that we would make attending this festival an annual tradition. This new experience had brought me a lot of happiness. As a crossdresser, I find great joy in my transformation from male to female, and I have a genuine passion for wearing beautiful girls' clothing.